Good evening my Stitchy friends. What a hectic day. Welcome to my channel Stitcherella. I am going to show something quickly, a little tutorial before I start Stitch whatever you want Wednesdays. Are we on Wednesday? Yes. Are we? Wednesday? Thursday? Yeah, we on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, this week has been hectic. But I just want to show you quickly how I stop and start. A lot of people have been asking me this. I'm trying to position this so we are in focus. Okay, so what I do when I start. Uh, let me see. On the, I'm just using the same thing. So I go through the little, through all one. Can you see? I go through. Then I pull it. And then this little end, I cut off if it's not equal. But I'm just going to leave it for, for this purpose now there. Then I take my needle and I go straight through the middle. Do you see? Then I pull it through. And look at that. It's tight. And then you start. Look. You go in. Sorry, it's very... I want to... I'm holding it very uncomfortable because I really want you to see what I'm doing you see so that is how I start now this thing is very long not very well prepared because I am really rushing this day now I've got my stitchy time so I'm so 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 happy you don't even understand and that is how I start so every time I'm finished I'm gonna cut it off and start again so you can see um, okay, so we're going to start, I go through it, through the hole, do you see what I mean? I'm going through, then I pull it, you can leave a little string in the back in the beginning, if you're scared, you, you miss it, or, and then you can just cut it off, so I go to the better end there, you see, then when you've got that little piece, be careful, this can fall out, I normally pull it a little bit more, but it's difficult for me. There you go. So I pulled it. But you can leave a little string here that you can cut off after I've done this. So I push it right through in the middle. Yeah, Lola, get off. My cat jumped on me. No, lols. Just hold on. So in the middle, you push it through. And then that's how I start. It's tight, tight, tight. You start it in front. Look. I'm pulling. Nothing's coming out then. You just start like normal. You see? Okay, let me just do three stitches quickly. It's just the start and stop. I'll do a proper tutorial. But someone asked me this today. And I promised I will show. So there you go. Going to do one more. Okay, so... let's start again so what we do is we push it through and you pull till the bitter end or you can leave a little tail that you can cut off but i'm used to it so and then you push it through pull it and it's tight i'm pulling with all you can pull it's done and there's nothing that is how i start it never comes loose it is amazing like that Okay, so I want to go like this. I'm going to show you again. Cut it off. This is a mess in the back. So when I show you how I end off, um, <laughs> bear with me because I'm trying to keep this so I can show you from close. So I push it through. I pull it. And remember, leave yourself a little tail. If you're scared, you're going to pull the whole thing through. I'm just used to this. Now, when it's through like that, it's still loose. But then you push your needle right in the middle. Oh, needle bender breaker. Okay, I just broke a needle. Give me a second. I'm back. You see what I mean by needle bender breaker? Oh, my soul. That was a new needle. But in any way, let me show you again. This might get lost if I turn it around because I want to show you the end, but I'll come back. So I go through. I pull it. 
till the bitter end. You don't have to do that. Leave a little tail until you through this step. Then you push it right in the middle. You go through. And there you go. You start. If everything wants to work together. I just wanted to show. There. It's tight, tight, tight. I'm pulling. And then you start your stitch. Let's go one more time there. I think we should do one more time. What do you think? Okay, let's just finish a stitch because we're in the frame now. When you see me do it on stitch alongs, it's much quicker and I don't do it in a frame. So I, when I go through, I go in and I come out where I want to start because I don't have a frame on. This is a frame just to show you properly. So I go in, I pull through. I just don't want to shift this thing. I go through till the better, better end. Then I push the needle right in the middle through the material, the ADA, through the thread, and then I pull. There you go, tight as a button. And then I make my stitch. Now when I end off, I think I'm going to show you one more time. What do you think? No, I'm not going to because, no, no, I can't. Let me hold my finger here. I want to turn this around. Get here. Now it's a bit uneat here because you know I haven't ended off. But now I want to show you what I do when I end off. I go through a whole block. I pull it through. Okay. That same block I go through. Then I go to the next block. So it's tight. It can't slip out. So that same block I go through. I go through again. So I make little loops around my blocks, you see? So what I do is I go in, I go around, and I go to the next one. I don't know if you know what I mean. Let's do this process again. Okay, I'll be back. Alrighty then, let's go through this one more time. Okay, you go through, you pull it. I can leave a tail, but if I leave it, okay, let's leave a tail so you can see. Now I left the tail. This is what, what you might do in the beginning. Leave a little tail, okay? Leave a tail, leave a tail, okay? Then you still go through like I told you to, like, I show, like I'm showing you how. And there you go, tight as a button. When you're at this point, when you come back, and you want to make your stitch now, please cut the tail off. Okay, let me show you. Sorry, I got a needle in the mouth and it works. I don't have enough hands. Okay, that's good enough for me because I don't normally do it like that. And anyway, there's your stitch. And you go and you've got a front start and there's, it's very neat in the back. And you can just carry on doing your stitches, right? Do you want me to show you one more time? Let me hear, let me hear. Do you want to see another time? You can also rewind the video again and again. You see, then you just go like this and come out. I don't go in and out. So when I stitch in the frame, I go in, grab the needle, turn around, come back immediately. So everything stays on top. You see? So when I work, you go in, I grab the needle, come out immediately where I want to be, I pull. Go in, immediately turn the needle, come out. There you go. Go in, immediately needle back. So your thread doesn't go in the back. There's nothing in the back that can... You see what I'm doing? Okay. Now, let me see if I can maybe end this off without... Let me see the spaces here. Okay, wait. Let me pull it through. I don't want to leave the space, otherwise... I have a problem. Okay, let's see. There you go. In zooming in when I want to show you. Now my ending off. So I will go in to end it off. I'll go in and I make a hoop. I go around in the same one. Then I go to the next one. I pull. It's smooth. You go through the same one and go out. So I hoop twice, third one I just pull through. Finished. Look here. Nice and neat. 
So let me show you one more time. All right. Okay. So here we start again. We pull through. I'm not going to leave a tail. The tails are bugging me. There you go. I go through. I pull it to the bitter end. I push it in the middle. Now when I stitch, I come out already when I don't have a frame. But this is an easy way for you to start off. It's fun. It's it's tight. I almost talked in Afrikaans. So there you go. You start it. No fuss, no mess, no nothing. You see? And then here on the top, I'm going to show you on the top. I'm not going to turn around just for in case. Say this was the back. No, this is now the back, okay? And you want to end off. So I end off like this. I go through. I make a hoop. I go through, I make a hoop, you can't feel it, you make a hoop, so I hoop twice and just pull through the third time and cut it off blunt, okay. So I'll do a proper um, video for you this weekend, I really hope this helped and let's get stitching. Good evening my stitchy friends, welcome to my channel Stitcherella. And oh, what a day we had today, let me tell you. <laughs> it was busy, busy, busy. So that's why this video is late. But I'll tell you all about my day. If you've got the time to listen, it is stitch whatever you want Wednesday. And today I'm still deciding where I want to start here. This is not happening. I'm going to do it this way. Oh, much better. Okay. So before I started stitching this, so much happened, let me tell you. I um, quickly made a little intro on how I stop and start. A lot of people asked me and I just decided let's do it quickly because I promised. And now I've done that but now I don't have a scissor. Oh man. Oh, sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> All over the show today oh my soul so I did that and I just looked back on it so that you can I wanted to see if you can see what I'm doing so first of all sorry my finger has toothpaste on <laughs> my thumb and then secondly in the first clip there's a hair of Lola sorry about that too um, I just wanted to quickly show uh, show everyone how I stop and start but I will make a proper video today it's just been chaotic I woke up this morning and one day saving asked me did I make the video and I only received it yesterday and I said yes I'm busy and I posted that quickly no I'm lying first of all I went to the school then I went to pick my mom up I came back I made the video I posted it as as it went up I had to take my mom for her hair that took quite a bit of time and then I did, I went to my mom, I did all the things I have to do for her, I give her injections, that also obviously takes time. After that, I had to go and certify IDs and, I don't know what you call, identification, we call it IDs, yeah? So I had to certify it, I had to make copies and certify it at the police, because our Department of Education wanted certified copies before they put... Alex's application for high school through and I had to do it then so I went I made the copies I went to the police station I sat there forever you don't even know so when I got back home it was half past four and guess what load shedding no power so the power came back at 6 30 yeah two and a half hours but it came back we ate um, I caught up on all the phone things, which we didn't have power, nothing's charged, nothing worked, and we ate, and that's how I ended up doing my whole day, because right after we ate, I spoke to my friends quickly, I'll tell you about that just now, now, and then I started recording that little short clippies that I made before this, with a toothpaste finger and Lola's hair. Fantastic. My day is just great. <laughs> but my day became very great. I spoke to 
Liz and Liz, thank you very much. You know for what. Thank you so much. What will I do about you? Yes, what will I do about you? And then after I made that clips, I was busy seeing if you can see what I tried to show you. And then Stefani, thank you. She's catching the, she, she told me about, you know, the rules of the, the group, the Facebook group is now advertising now. And now and again, we get that person and we approve them and everything's fine and they start advertising t-shirts and this and that. That's an immediate ban. That, 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 you know, we, the, in the group rules, no advertising or selling. It's, you know, you know what we do. It, it, I can because it's my group and I do this for my channel. The group is directly linked to my channel. That's what it's for. You know, so, and it's growing very fast. So thank you for making us attend on that. I forwarded it to, to Liz to take care of it for me quickly because I just need time to finish this video and chat to you. You know, otherwise it never gets done. I don't know what's happening, but it's happening and I'm just busy. So, yes, that was my day in two minutes. <laughs> I wish it was just two minutes. It took forever and I just, everywhere I go, it took longer and longer. But I'm here with you. And that is the last I'm going to moan, moaning myrtle on you. No moaning myrtle anymore. I didn't really moan. I told you how chaotic my day was. But in any way, it still feels like I'm being moaning myrtle. I'm really not trying to be. <laughs> Let's breathe. Yes. <laughs> oh man, if something something goes like my day or anything goes wrong, I normally laugh. When I get hurt, I laugh. When I'm embarrassed, I laugh. I'll just laugh it off, right? Mm hmm. Best thing to do. How are you? How are, how have your day been? Or, or I think it's now day by you. Most of you, and by a lot of us, it's evening. I know UK is evening, we evening. So yes, tell me about your day. What's been happening? Hello, Jose. Welcome back. Oh, I missed you, man. <laughs> oh shame. My mom looks so beautiful. She cut. We got it to the hair salon. And she cut her hair and she looks magnificent. And I'm not going to dye my hair again. It's a slip. I'm going to dye it, but not myself. I made myself. I'll, 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 I'm going to let someone do it for me, but only in a few months. Because oh, I'm just, it, it's a battle to keep up with the hair, right? You ladies know exactly what I'm talking about. On that video that I made before this, just that quick clip of how to stop and start, I realized how dry my hands are. You know, I just want to stitch. I don't have time for creams and butters and well, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not that way. I don't know. I don't like to put on a lot of stuff and put on a lot of makeup and put this on. It takes too much time and which I don't have. Uh, <laughs> but I'll have to, if I want to keep making videos for you, probably have to take care of my hands so that it looks better. So sorry for the state of that. When I made that clip, I saw, oh my gosh, sorry. And then there's toothpaste on my finger. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> you guys don't know what happened to me. I will make a video. I don't know which one I'm doing tomorrow. I still want to do some stuff, but um, I have been washing one of those 18 count canvases. Now, let me tell you the process I went through. Like I said, it's not for the faint hearted. Uh, please don't buy it. It's a lot of work. Please don't buy it. This is, I know there's a few people that really want to save their canvases. I don't even know what's going on with mine. But it's hard work, all right? I bought some products and I tested it. I didn't um, put air spray or nothing like that yet. So what I did is yesterday, I bought, uh, what do we call it? Oxy Wash as well, yeah, in South Africa. But the brand, 
I will I will put everything in the video. I bought that. I bought a lot of other stuff as well, but I didn't use it. So what I did is I laid it in just warm tap water with strong washing powder. I think overseas you call it detergent, but powder, not the liquid. The liquid doesn't work. It's a very strong washing powder or like you call it detergent. That's so fancy, detergent. No. <laughs> we do, we call it washing powder. Okay, so I put it in washing powder and two scoops of oxy washing stuff. Oxy stain remover. I did take pictures and I will put it in the video. So I lied it in that for, I think it was just more than an hour. And the ink came off. Not everything. Don't make a mistake. Not everything. The ink, ink came off, but not enough. But it came off. And I took a picture after I took it out there so I can show you what I'm talking about. So after I took it out there, I decided let's get clever. Hmm. You must, you must hear this. Tell me what you think of this. I play chemist, chemist. So <laughs> I put my canvas. Oh, I tested the canvas on... Um, I'll tell you that as well. But after that, what I did is I put one big pot on the stove. I've got a, a six-plate gas stove. And I decided, now I'm going to boil you. So I got the water up and boiling. Put my canvas in there. Put detergent, the fancy word for washing powder. I put washing powder in there and a scoop of oxy lean clean stuff. Great, it's boiling. Um, and and while that's boiling, you have to mix it, otherwise it comes to the top, the water. So I was standing in the kitchen. And I'm like, oh, let me put um, what is? It's not baking soda. Yeah, it's baking soda. Cook soda, baking soda. Yeah, let, it's bicarbonate of soda. Yes, that's the name that you will reckon. I put two teaspoons in there. And oh my soul. And it's boiling. I've got all the detergent and oxy stuff in there. And I put the teaspoons of, of <laughs> um, bicarbonate of soda in there. And it made a big explosion. <laughs> it's not an explosion, but it went everywhere, everywhere. So I ripped the pot off the stove. Everything's wet. And as soon as it calmed down, the water is still, uh, it's still like bubbly, but not boiling. It, and I left it in there overnight. And I'll show you the results. It, it, it came out very light. Um, but I'll show you the results because I first want to, with the end product I've got now, now I want to see what happens. Oh, 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 and the big secret here is I've not rubbed one time. Not rubbed, scrubbed, nothing, but I did boil it. I tested chemicals on my threads. Threads is color fast. I have not tested it with bleach. But I want to take a photo of it dry. I got home, it is dry. Before I put bleach on that, I'm going to put, I'm going to, I've ruined the canvas in any way. So I'm going to put bleach on the threads. But before I do that, I just want to, there's a few things I want to do, and after that I'll make the video. So yeah, that was exciting and a big old mess. So please don't buy it. Please, please, please don't buy 18 and 16 count until the product is fixed. If you want to save it, you can, but it's a job and a half, and it costs money. So you can, <laughs> it does, really. It's only for the people that want to save their canvases, but I'll show you what I've done. But I've been missioning since yesterday with it. But I'm, I'm getting results. So don't make a mistake. I am getting results. But I'm not rubbing at all. I didn't. Well, the only rubbing that was done. It's not rubbing. It's when I rinse it. I squish the water out. That's the only type of. I've rubbed nothing. It's just squishing water out. And that's it. I've done no scrubbing, rubbing, nothing. Because I want to find a way that we don't have to do that. But it's not good for, you know, it's not, this is not a good way to do it. It's not supposed to be like that. But I am just experimenting like the little chemist I am. Blow up my kitchen. 
<laughs> Mike, you guys had to see Mike run. He's like, what did you do? I said, I don't know. Maybe I made a bomb. I don't know. I just put chemicals and I boiled. He's like, do you know you can't put all chemicals together? I'm like, well, I know now. <laughs> it was the bicarbonate of soda. I just went up and it just made a fountain. And it was everywhere. I had to, and it's a big pot. I used two bath um, sheets. It's not a towel because a bath sheet is big. Two bath sheets and they were wet, wet, wet. <laughs> and everything wasn't wasn't picked up. It was quite funny though. Mike didn't think it's funny. They had quite a fright. I was standing there full of bicarbonate of soap. Bicarbonate of soda and I was full of soap bubbles. At least I smelled good. <laughs> so it's not for the faint hearted. But I I gave it a good go. And it worked. There, there is results. Oh, but please don't buy this. This is only for those few people and there is a few that wants to save their canvases. Okay. Let me take a sip of my tea. Yo, I'm talking myself into another blood group. Okay, where's the rest of my... I prepared string and enough. And I think Lola stole it because there's only one left and I made a few. That's not funny at all. I don't find this very entertaining. Oh, she did take it. Just hold on. Okay, I'm back. Let's just finish that one off. And then we are done with this. Yeah, so eventful, eventful, eventful. Makes life interesting though. Sorry I'm babbling your ear off. I just had to tell you about all the stuff happening here. Me and my craziness, right? Craziness to want to save everything. You must see how far I am on this canvas. You are going to be shocked. Shocked, shocked, shocked. This one should be... I'm not going to say this week. Let's say next week I'll be finished with this one. Like, you know, I can't say. Now it's going to finish, blah, blah, blah. And then I misjudge because everything's happening at once. So this one will be finished next week. Definitely. There, there's no... Definitely, definitely. Okay, so I hope I'm on the right spot again. Otherwise, we're going to miss out on some things, yeah? Let's just go here. It's fine. Just make a plan. Okay. There you go. So tell me, did you, did something exciting happen? Sometimes my life's a bit boring. But I prefer it that way. I'm older now. I'm not old. I'm older. So I prefer to be cozy in my house with my cross stitch, my TV, my kids and my husband. And it's winter here. It's freezing. It doesn't matter how layered I, I dress. I keep going, going, going. Now I don't know how to express myself. Let me think about how to say this. I keep going to buy... I know. I <laughs> don't know. Okay. I keep going to bath. I keep bathing. I keep going to... I don't know. You know what I mean? I go bathing the whole time. Is that right? I don't know. But I keep going bathing because it's so cold. Then I use all the geezers hot water. And then I just lie there until I'm red. And then I get up. Then I feel better for a few hours. And as soon as it, <laughs> I'm freezing again, I, I repeat. Now I feel stupid. How do you say it? I keep going bathing. I keep bathing. I don't know. I don't know. I hope you know what I mean. Let me let me let me explain to you. I keep jumping in the warm water where I clean myself <laughs> to feel better because I'm cold. <laughs> Yo, that does not that's weird. I can't remember how to say that. But in any way. Silly buggers. 
I don't like being cold. Cold is just not for me. I rather fry. I rather the heat is much better for me. That this coldness is not nice. So yeah, I did that unboxing for one day saving. And um I must I'm actually they don't watch watch this video, so I actually want to talk about that shop. Um I really like them. I really, really like them. You know why? They immediately ship. They actually carry the stock. It's everything they carry is in stock. They fast. They're not pricey. They, I actually like the shop. I would love to support them a bit. They, they're a very nice shop with very, very nice people. You know, they're one of the smaller shops. But they're really, really nice. So, I... I took a real liking in them and the way they conduct business and the way they do things. A very, very nice little shop. I I really like them. And another one that's oh, they all very but that's just it's in a newer shop to my channel. I just I just really like the way they treat people and the way they conduct business. It's very nice. You guys must go and look they've got their media sale. So I've got a discount code. They've got a new discount code on the new video. And they've got more discounts. Because it's that media sale. Now I want to tell you something. Let me see what we in June. July, August, September. Oh, okay. so September, October. Yeah, in September. Yeah, it's September. Last year, about September. September, October. So August, September last year. And I'm sure, and the year before as well. I think it's then, yeah, then, Paint somewhere has that 75, 50 to 75% off uh, sale, where they cross-stitch sale, they have it every year, I'll keep you up to date with that, but you must jump, because that's not choose what you want, it will always be in stock, some of those things are one, one, two, if you see that, you must, you must jump. So that sale is still coming. I like, ah, uh, yo. In the past, before my channel, I couldn't wait for that sale. You picked up stuff that you paid in our money a thousand rand for. You pick it up for three hundred rand. That, that's a very good sale. There's normally a lot of joy Sundays. It's just clearance, clearing all, the older stock. It won't be the new things, but it's still a bargain. There's always something in the old things you don't have that you always wanted, and then you get it for so so cheap. Well, that's the time to buy. So if you're like me and you have to save up, or save up then. <laughs> but if you can just buy, nice. I wish I was you. <laughs> oh, so every year that thing is coming. I do not know about the other shops. Because I only started working with them this year, to be honestly, with, with like with my channel, I only started working with them this year. But I'm sure all of them must do it. So we'll see how that goes, right? Paint some way, loaded new stuff today. And I just love the Betty boobs they put on. My heart strings went, oh no, <laughs> I want it. But I'm sure if we paint somewhere and get something new, this is the order of things. Um, the first shops that gets the new stuff, it's paint somewhere and biggest craft and FG normal. And then from there, whatever is ordered, okay, no, FG normal change. It's biggest craft and paint somewhere. It's paint somewhere, then biggest craft. And whatever is ordered from the new stuff, you'll get it available in the other shops two weeks later. That's how it works. There's a pattern. And then I want to have a little chat about this. Babbling your ears off. I'm sorry. I need I need to get it all out of my out of my system. There is people in the group that um pay a lot of money to buy at Tapestry Market. So let's discuss that a bit. You can buy wherever you want, whatever you do. But can I tell you a little secret? Tapestry Market gets their stuff exact 
exactly where all the other stores get it. You pay triple where we pay a third and you pay triple. So if you divide it by three, that is exactly the product we get from the other stores because people think they pay that price at Tapestry because they get a superior product. Blah. No ways. I know for a fact they all get from the same factory. My friend Natalia just did a review for Tapestry Market. And what did she get? She got two DIYs. She was so upset. After she told them she doesn't want them. And that price for DIY. Now you must know she paid three times what you see the price is. Um, she didn't pay it. But, but you know what I mean. If you go and buy it. You get exactly the same thing for three times the price. Then they come with the stories. No, but you, get, you buy four, you get one free. Still, the other stores give the same deal, even better, and you get discount. So you still pay your nana off. But it's okay. I just, I just, this is a friendly conversation to tell you, you can get some more cross-stitch for your money. <laughs> Oh, I'm being nasty. I'm not nasty. I'm just being honest telling you what's going on. There's no superior product by Tapestry Market. No different product. Exactly what we get at the shops I, I, I do collabs for. Exactly the same. I will never do a collab for them. Because that price is, that prices are ridiculous. It is ridiculous. For the same product, never. Not me. Not me. No, thank you. I'm a little bargain hunter. If I can get the same product cheaper, that's what I'll do. Because then I can get more products. You know? Bargain hunting. And it's a fact. It's the same. But in any way, enough of that now. <laughs> Kids are getting report cards on Friday. They're so excited. Very excited. I know what they're getting because they got marks back. It's just like the English and the Afrikaans. Um, they combine marks of all tests and stuff. So the things they brought back is good. Alex is writing provincial astronomy Olympiads. Very proud, very proud. And Abby's got such good marks for art. And they both with maths. And I'm just proud of them. Let's stop it there. I'm just super proud of my kids. I hope I'm still in focus. If I go a little bit out when I edit, it's just because I want to show you from closer. I was hoping to do that video when I get a frame or something to stabilize what I show you. So it's very difficult for me to make that beginner video. I do not have something at the moment. Like I said, I, I'm getting from um, New Craft Day. It's the cheap version of that little frame that you put on your lap or it's not it's just that little white one i think it's 15 dollars they're sending that to me so with that i can at least put it on a table and show you properly what to do so i don't know it's not going to be in time for saturday or sunday so let's just see how this goes i don't know if i should wait because it will be here next week must I wait a week and do the video properly? Or are you in such a hurry that I have to... That's why I make the shorts, to, to help immediately. So I don't know, let me know. Must I make the how to beginner's guide to cross stitch, whatever. Must I do it now? Can you wait a week for me? Otherwise everything is going to be shaky. I've got nothing else to hold the frame still while I teach you. So I don't know. I don't know. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, it's a piece that came from the back. Oh, it's fine. We'll just work it in here. Yeah? If it doesn't work, ah, oh, now I got it. Make a plan. Yes. So I went to Chickas today. I bought bread. And there was this pot bread. So I made, oh, we call it burbrede. Burbrede. So it's huge. It's this humongous bread. It's very, very big. So I got one of those. And Mike made us curry again. And we ate that for dinner. And was it good? No, it was better than good. Yeah, so our stomachs are full. 
I haven't jumped in the warm water yet, so I'm freezing. <laughs> I've been chatting to my friends. Mostly Liz. Liz just... Thank you. She knows what she's done. You'll find out soon what she's done. You'll find out soon. I've got good people around me, man. I can just thank the Lord for my blessings. Alrighty then. I'll see you in a second. I just switch on and off. I didn't take a break, but I'm scared. I thought that the, I want to make it proper. <laughs> I, I, I sound like a gramophone. I'm sorry. Okay, that little thing will go away. It's small. Let's start off. Please let me know. Must I take another week or must I do that beginner's video this weekend? If I wait for another week, I can actually make a better video. Because I've got a little thing to hold my Ada to show you properly. Sit by table and show you properly what I mean. Properly, properly. It's not even, yeah, that's that thing. And then Fan Cells is sending me, I don't know who's got it. I know Natalia's got them. The rotation hoops. Oops, not hoops, clamps. It's two big black clamps that hold your frame. Even that will work. So anything, if I can wait a week. But if you can't, I'll make it. But it's going to be shaky like the beginning video when, when I started this video. It's going to be shaky because I'm trying to show you. I'm holding the thing and it's just all over the show. If I wait for another week, then I've got the right equipment to show you properly. Or to make the video properly. I feel very like... I don't know, I'm in two minds because I don't want to disappoint but I'm going to make a much better video with it than without it, you know what I mean what happened here oh I get angry when this happens there you go, when you pull it and you pull and there's not a knot and you don't know why it's stuck that's what I'm talking about that I don't like it happened again, what's wrong here let me just see here ah, it's the second thread that's twisted, okay it's fine now yeah, so please tell me what I should do because I don't know. It's a catch-22. People need it, so I'm going to put a movie out. It's not going to be too... It will be okay because I'll make the best of it. But if I wait a week, then i got the equipment to do it properly. Um, I'm more leaning to properly, but then my heart's like I don't want to let anyone down. So I don't know. Tell me what to do because I don't know. I'm going to leave a picture of the, the thank you note. Of the this dinosaur. Please have a look if you want to see how far I am. You're going to be shocked. I'm very far. I actually wanted to finish this week but it didn't work out like that. Um, so next week, I'll finish next week, yeah. Next week I will finish. So next week will be probably the last time, if so, that I work on it. If I don't finish it this weekend, but I don't want to promise because anything can happen. But if I'm done with it, then on the Wednesdays when I'm done with this one, I want to finish summer... Summer, what? Summertime of Joy Sunday. That cat in the window saw with the beautiful flowers. I want to finish that. And then. There is Thursdays in July. Christmas Thursdays. But if I finish this one. And I finish the cat. Then I can start something. But I don't know what yet. I'll see. But within three weeks, both of these will be done. This one will be finished next week. That other one, then I'll make it my main project, project and within two weeks I'll be done with it. It's time to finish stuff and start new things. I'm now stuck on these things and I just want to get done. I want to start new things. But first finish these. So two finishes, then I'm starting a brand new one. Kathy Monday's dead start. It was a short video, so I do owe you on that one. So Monday I'll make a long Kathy Mondays.
and normally in summer I wake up very early it's five o'clock or past five but now I wake up and it's so cozy and warm in the bed then I stay put the TV on drink tea and coffee and I just sometimes fall asleep again if I don't have to go anywhere but it's just too cold for me to function <laughs> I can't function in the cold my friends I cannot it's terrible <laughs> and Mike of course he loves the cold but the last few days uh, yesterday it was 4 degrees <laughs> uh, he also struggled a bit but it's very cold it's not it's not pleasant it's ridiculous when we get out of the house in the mornings when the kids go I don't go because I'm I'm totally not a morning person um, the mic drops him off but then all the grass everything's frozen 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 it's cold I moan like this this is hot thing now I grew up I was born in Newton egg and that's more in the Cape area Eastern Cape but I grew up in the free state that's when my mom and dad put me in school and we moved there and that's why I grew up because my, my grandparents were there and my mom's family were all farmers and everyone's out of that now my uncle is this side my aunt's still in the free state my sisters are in the free state now the free state weather now yeah you don't know South Africa but there's provinces now the free state is more you don't understand that is a different province Ting. that's colder than yeah but because I've been staying here for so long I don't remember it so bad so our cold is cold for me very 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 cold <laughs> I'm looking forward to that hot chocolate now yum 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 but I think I'm gonna get into the warm water first defrost my body you know I'm first gonna defrost and then I'll have it hmm while watching a movie if I can find a nice one oh, what's this now oh that's a little piece that okay there's a poly there okay just push it back and then I pull it through my needle towards there there you go and it's fixed shortcuts of fixing things um i still wanted to show you i just don't know when i think bef mm, yeah i'll make i'll take a picture you'll see if i take a picture tonight you'll see i use because i like to knit and crochet as well but i'm stuck on cross stitching i haven't done that for ages i've got all two circus full of yarn um wool whatever so i hand knit cable jerseys everything my mom taught me from a young age but anyway so i saw this product on paint some way and the, the other stores all of them has got it it's under the weaving series and it's that little placeholders that you use for knitting you buy a whole big box in south africa for for in rands it costed like 50 bucks or something very very cheap um i bought that and if i stitch like this cross country all over the show sometimes you miss a stitch sometimes you miss closing off a stitch then i hook one of those where i see a mistake not a mistake an unfinished place or something is not like a i hook one of those in so when i take the picture after this you'll see it's yellow so I picked up that I didn't close off my stitches or whatever I pick up. I mark them because otherwise I miss them. And when I work that color, then I go back to, to all my little markers. And I know exactly where they are. Because if you don't do that, I, I miss them after the wash, then I see it. I'm like, Argh. you know quite agitating when that happens I get like frustrated so I rather mark them and I know they're there to prevent further hassles but you'll see look at the picture that I take 
it will be on the bottom left. I picked up where I didn't close stitches off and I marked it because I'm busy with another color. As soon as I'm with that color, I go and fix it quickly. It's not really, it's just, un, it's not totally done. Because I hopped around, I went up and down and sideways, came back and I missed a few to close them. And that's basically what happened. Or if I see a stitch that's not properly pulled, anything. You know, something you don't like, you want to go back and do it. And if you don't mark it, me, if I don't mark it, I know it's there. I promise you, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. I cannot find it, so I have to mark them. It's just easier. Oh, you guys don't know what happened today. I'm so upset. This also happened in between everything. Um, Madeleine, I sent a parcel yesterday to her and she's supposed to get it today. So she went to fetch the parcel and she sent me this message and she says, what's this? I'm like, what are you talking about? And she shows me kids' books. I'm like, I don't know. Why are you showing me kitty books? That was a parcel. They switched her parcel around and she's got this big bag of cross stitch coming to her and the parcel is not by her she got kitty books so they switched the parcel around they didn't want to help her I phoned them now they need to find her parcel take it to her pick the wrong parcel up imagine that I'm so sad that it's not cool so we have to wait to see what they do but they'll sort it out it's just such a schlep because you send it, you do everything right, and then she get books. Just imagine the disappointment. It's horrible. Don't worry, Malian. They must fix this. We'll be on their case. She's got a whole bag of stuff. Oh, it, it makes me angry when stuff... But we live in Africa. What do you, what do you think? It's, it is terrible. That thing is... Things like that happening here is, is normal. But... Um, this is a courier company, and it's a good courier company. It's the courier guy, and they made a big mess up, a big one. So let's see how they handle it, because I'm pretty disappointed, and I can just imagine her disappointment. So Marlene will fix this, will give them gas. <laughs> Alrighty then, I think that's going to be me for tonight. Thank you so, so much for spending your precious time with me. I'm going to talk to you again tomorrow. I'll leave this picture after the thank you note. Lots of love. Stitcherella.